In the spring of 1968, I was a senior in college. I was writing my undergraduate thesis, and I was writing on the confessions of Nat Turner. I thought, why not write a letter to the author of this book? I really didn't think that uh, an exalted figure like an author would answer a mere undergraduate, and yet I sent him a list of questions. I tried to make them good questions, and to my surprise, three or four days later, I received in the mail a letter from him answering those questions. I thought that was very generous. It was very open of him. When I first met him, he and I sat up almost all night. I was drinking Jack Daniels and he was drinking Dewar's. I noticed that he had a, a style of drinking though. He was not a sedentary drinker. He got up and he moved around and he talked and he gesticulated. I, on the other hand, sat there and absorbed so that by about 3 a.m. I was incapable of speech, but he was still going strong. I'll never forget that. Styron was generous to me and he trusted me. That meant a great deal. I asked him once if it didn't make him nervous to have me poking around in his life, but he said no, he had never done anything of which he was ashamed. And I would have to second that comment. I never discovered any mean-spirited behavior. Occasionally he could become cantankerous. Now and then he would snarl at a smart-ass academic or an ill-prepared journalist. But he was a generous man with his time and attention. And I benefited greatly from it.